This is the first of three videos looking at the locus of points of complex numbers. This first one looks at the set of points which are a set distance away um, from a given number on an Argan diagram. You're going to get one of three questions. One of them is going to look like this, where you've got z minus um, or plus something within modulus signs equals a number. And this type of question is when we're saying the difference between z and some point equals some other value. The problem is it's not directly clear what that point is here because we need to make z minus that point. Let me show you what I mean. This is exactly the same as what we've got before, because we've got minus 3 and minus minus i. But now it's clear that the point we're talking about is the point 3 minus i. Now, what does this mean? It means the point z from this set point 3 minus i must always be 5. So an Argan diagram, it means if I look at the point 3 minus 1, I need all the points which are 5 away from that point. And it should be clear to you that that's a circle. And using the equation of a circle, we get the equation x minus 3 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals 25. But how can we do this with algebra rather than just applying logic? Well, what we first of all do is we know that z is a complex number. So we say let z equal x plus i, y. And we're going to use this method for all these um, locus problems and also for most of the problems that we do on proof on the complex number um, papers. So when I do that, I get this here. Now I've done a little bit of simplification. If z is x plus i, y, that means the real part of z is x, and the real part of um, my original question is negative 3. So it's x minus 3 is the real part. And then in the same way, we get y plus 1 is the imaginary part. Now we know how to find the modulus of a complex number. It's the real part squared plus the imaginary part squared and square rooted. Well, it was square rooted, but I've squared both sides. So we get x minus 3 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals 25. As you can see, we've immediately got the equation of a circle, which we got earlier on just by applying logic. The unfortunate thing is you've got to do it the way on the left in your exam. Applying logic on the right just won't do. As an extra, there are some questions that people can find difficult in this situation. This is ones like this, where instead of z minus 3, we've got z plus 3. And it doesn't have to be a 3, of course. It can be any number. But that positive can be confusing. But remember, we're finding the difference between our two points. So it's really important that z is subtracting a complex number. So this becomes z minus and then it's minus 3 because minus minus is a plus and then minus i a bit simpler because minus minus is a plus again so z is the point which is 5 away from the um, point minus 3 minus i in the description below you can find a link to a worksheet that has questions that you can try on your own I hope you found this video helpful, staying in field with Winfield.